Well, y'all, it's that time of year again. Time for some nighttime catfishing. We're going for some uh, flatheads tonight. Um, I didn't think they'd be down here. It's June. They're in the middle of the spawn. But I uh, caught one so far, so hey. <laughs> I'm hopeful. We got a live bluegill on all the rods. Sunfish, perch, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm going to try and pull in a big one. take the opportunity when they get over water. Didn't you? Holy mackerel! Oh, that's a gar. <laughs> it's a gar. take my bait again, will you? I was afraid these guys were going to be down here. And they are. It's a pretty good sized gar. <laughs> See if I can get that hook out of him. Oh, you're tangled. Oh, you're tangled good. How'd you do it? You already got me. What else you got? All right, now just let go. <laughs> let go. <laughs> it's big turd. There you go. Leave my bait alone. Well, I guess I got another rig to rig up. I <sighs> just got the other one rigged.
Sorry about the ears that are being gone. Alright y'all, I was going to say, there ain't no flatheads here. <laughs> but here we go. Nice little flathead. I think probably like, I don't know, three, four pounds, maybe five. I don't know, he's little. They're looking for something bigger. But, uh, it's pretty. <laughs> there you go. Been getting a lot of bites, but uh, not hooking in everything. I'm not not sure if they're bass or more gar. I didn't really see any gar when the sun set, so might be bass. The waiting game. It's going to be the night of the gar. <laughs> he hogged at himself. <laughs> oh. I was trying to avoid picking you up, buddy, because you cut me all up. Let me at least get the hooks out of your mouth. I can hold him like that. <laughs> Don't cut me. Nice one. And he's gone. I got a spectator at the top of the hill. I don't know what it is. You can see its eyes glowing though when I looked up. I felt like I was being watched, so I looked up and there's his eyes. Doesn't look very big, so I'm not that worried about it. Unless he's just crouched down on the rock. <laughs> Well, y'all, the only activity I'm hearing out here are the gars. Loop. Loop. Usually when I'm catching gar, I'm not catching catfish out here. So I may have missed. I may have missed it. Um, but I'm going to go dig the bugs out of my ears and my nose. And uh, come back out here tomorrow night and try it just a little bit further down. Maybe like a 
200 yards or so and see if maybe they just moved away from the gar. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. See you tomorrow. All right, good day. Well, at least there's something here. <laughs> this little old bass ate that big old bluegill. <laughs> Jeez. Gar. Am I fishing for gar or what? <laughs> Loosened up my drag a little bit. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Well, y'all yeah, knew that uh, targeting the flathead catfish in June was going to be rough. But I thought since this is their spawning ground, you know, they don't all spawn at the same time. So I thought I might catch some scragglers, some who are done spawning or something. But uh, I think I can mark this spot off the list for a while. <laughs> Jeez, this is rough. It's like one catfish in two days. But oh, I have another spot in mind. That's what I was doing. I was sitting here looking at my phone, looking for, looking at that next spot I want to go to. Anyway, I don't know if the camera will pick up the phone, but it's, it's right here. It's on the end of this point. I've been to this point a lot of times, and this is like a bluegill spawning area. And there's always, quit hitting the phone. There's always a pile of fish right here. So that's where I'm going to go. There's also a fish attractor so maybe that's why also <laughs> but that's my next spot I'm going to anyway I haven't really caught any flatheads there but I have caught a lot of channel cats so I think we're gonna switch gears and uh, go for some channels that'll be two days one catfish one bass and five gar I think 
two landed and three came off at the bank. Which is kind of good because I didn't have to deal with them. <laughs> but it's almost midnight and uh, I got stuff to do in the morning so I'm going to go ahead and pack it. If they were biting I would stay but they ain't biting. <laughs> Alright y'all so I'm going to end the video here. Uh, next catfishing trip will probably be next week so look out for that. And uh, tight lines everyone. I'll see you later.